What is up, YouTube? My name is James, and I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here today. And today, I'm going to bring you guys a video on how to create your Lightroom catalog. So this video is going to be super, super short in the sense that I'm literally showing you guys how to create it and one super important step that you should always use when making your Lightroom catalog. So this video is the start to my series on the basic components of Lightroom when it comes to importing, exporting, organizing your catalog, using the rating system, keywords, and uh, color labels, importing from the catalog, all this stuff is going to be covered in their own respective videos. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And lastly guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. my Lightroom catalog and to make a new catalog simply what you're going to do is go to file new catalog and now you're going to to select where you want to put your catalog file so this is very important in my opinion so here is a uh, mock little uh, section where I have my Lightroom folder so the application itself is not in here it's simply where I'm going to be putting all of my photos and where I'm going to be putting my catalog so here I have a folder with all my raw files in it and then here's a folder called catalog. And in this catalog, I have my uh, how to set up your how to set up your catalog video. And in here, I have my actual catalog. I'm gonna be making a new folder called uh, temp catalog. This is actually my second time making this video. The first time the audio cut out, so I actually already made a catalog for the rest of my Lightroom videos that I'm gonna be making. So this is gonna be a temp one just for this video, and uh, then I'll be using my other one for the rest of them. So in this temp catalog, you are gonna just put your Lightroom catalog in here simply. So we're going to go right to create folder with new catalog here. We're just going to make a temp catalog. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it whether it's a certain shoot you did, whether it's um, the type of photography you're going to be doing in this catalog. Whatever you want it to be, you can be. So do that now and then you're going to make sure you put it in the right section in my temp catalog folder right there and then I'm going to hit create. And then uh, skip this time because I'm an idiot. I don't back up my catalog. Why would I? Um, I'm not smart like that. I actually might do that soon though. Anyway, so now it, Lightroom is going to automatically open up your new catalog. And you're going to be right here ready to import photos and do all that stuff. So now that you're in your Lightroom catalog here, what you're going to do is you're going to be going to File. Sorry, not File. Lightroom and Catalog Settings. And then what you're going to do is click this button right here. It says automatically write changes into XMP. So by clicking this box that says automatically write changes into XMP, what happens is every time you adjust a file or make a change, it's automatically written to this little file .xmp and tied to that file. So if your catalog ever gets corrupted or Lightroom crashes and your, save, and your things don't save, all you have to do is open it back up and it's already there again because all your changes were in those XMP files and not the raw files themselves. So very, very important. I definitely recommend checking that box. And then real quick, I always delete the Smart Collections uh, collection because it's honestly useless. You never use it. If you want to make, use Smart Collections, you make your own. You don't use that one. So I delete that and that is all. That is everything that we do for our creation of our Lightroom catalog. The next video is going to be how to change your import settings and then we'll go from there. So if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And lastly guys, my name is James. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.